Well, welcome back to another episode. I'm actually really excited about this particular video because I've been working with EvanX or EV Annex, whichever you prefer, either one, and we've been discussing my new Model Y and they sent over some goodies that I've been holding on to for a while, waiting for delivery of this car. Now, I do wanna preface by saying I'm not being paid to do any of this. They did send me these products for free to check out. I'm a big fan of the EV Annex product line, the EvanX product line. I appreciate the things that they do. It is a domestic company by Tesla owners and I'm all about supporting that. So, with that said, I'm actually really excited because in our previous car, I've toyed around with the idea of painting the calipers red a number of times. And every time I feel like I'm ready to take on the challenge, there's just something else that gets in the way. And at the end of the day, one thing you need to know about the calipers on these cars, to be able to lift the car and have it off the ground for four hours while you do this, you need quite a bit of equipment to do that. So there are some other options out there. Number one, you can pay somebody and they'll have the equipment to do it. You're looking at about $850 to do that. You can have them professionally powder coated. Again, you're looking at 800 plus to do that as well. You can paint them yourself. Now the paint is not the problem. That's not the expensive part, but it's all the equipment because to lift this car safely or properly, you're supposed to lift all four corners and have it set up in the air. So there's a couple of ways to do that. Number one, and the most expensive way to do that on your own is to get one of those lifts that has two legs across all the way from the front to the back and it's long enough to hit both of the jack points. Or you can use multiple jack stands to do this. Now remember, when you're painting these, you don't wanna do half the car four hours and then lower it and then do the other half for four hours. So getting the entire car off the ground is actually a challenge. For the Model Y, I'm telling you, Yes, technically you can set this car on jack stands, but you need to be very, very careful doing that only because you're gonna be doing it for such a long period of time. So that's why I'm really excited about this new product that EV Annex just came out with, that EvanX just came out with, and this is a bolt-on accessory that's going to cover the existing brake calipers with this cover. Now this is an aluminum cover and it's powder coated red and it looks really good. So let's go ahead and take a really quick look at them. And one of the things you'll notice right away is how nicely they're packaged, but all of them are nice and well protected in uh, this little wrapping. So you can see it is has a very good finish to it. That's because it's powder coated and it definitely appears powder coated, but very nice. And it's got these faux bolts all the way around. It's got some of the piping. Now, the way that the orientation on this works, this, is, this rubber piece is going to be facing the front of the car and the piping faces the back. So this is actually the driver's side that this one is. So how does it attach? So essentially, this part is gonna go on first and it's going to anchor onto the caliper that's in the car. Now this front part comes in two pieces with this little bolt up here. So we take that off and as soon as we get this aligned, we're just gonna bolt these pieces together and it'll hold in place. So now we're gonna find out together just how easy or how hard it is to do this, but just so you know, there are a couple pieces of equipment you're going to need to be able to do this. All right, so first and foremost, of course, EvanX does have their own jack pucks, and I use these quite often. Well, not quite often, but when I do need to jack the car, I'm really glad I have these. It's a set of four. You can get these on their website too, but they're actually really nice for a couple of reasons. They're really good material, and I mean, as you can see, I, uh, I actually do use these, but um, this gasket here, what that does is when you place this up into the hole, it holds it in place so you can get the jack underneath it. And that brings us to our next thing, the jack itself. All right, so this is a little ridiculous that I'm carrying this up here, but I wanna show you something. If you look at the shape of this particular jack, this is a low profile jack, and you do need a low profile jack for a Tesla. And the reason is because once you put those pucks on, you don't have a lot of ground clearance in order to get this underneath that puck and then lift the car. So you need a low clearance one. This particular one is two and a half ton capacity, and I don't recommend going any lower than two tons. At two tons, you're gonna be starting to put quite a bit of strain, and why push it? The cost difference is very minimal, and this one was actually a really good deal. So um, I'm very happy to have this, plus whenever it's time to rotate tires, now you've already got the jack and it's really easy. And the reason is these cars are so stiff, when you lift one corner of it, you lift the entire half of the car. It's actually kind of cool. You can lift 
the whole half of the car with one jack. That's why this particular method is actually quite a bit more cost effective than you'd think. These brake covers are $199 on their website. Of course, use code BTG to save $10 on $100 or more, so you'll get a little bit of a discount, but it makes it actually a much more cost effective way to do it, even though it seems like hey, that's kind of a bit of money, but you'll see as we do this install, plus the time savings alone of just clipping these on, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Now, in addition, of course, you're gonna need an impact, and um, I don't care which one you have, this is just the one I have, but you need a 21 millimeter. Um, you can also get away with a 13 16 It's the standard version of the metric, so anyways, Either one will be fine, and I highly recommend getting a torque wrench as well, so you can torque the bolts down. It's supposed to be 129 foot-pounds, which is really an odd number, but anyways, that's what the spec calls for. So make sure you torque these properly before you drive off after putting the wheels back on. And then finally, this next step, it really depends on which wheels you have. If you have the Geminis, you don't need anything to pull those hubcaps off. You just grab it and pull and it comes right off, which is easy enough. Now, if you have the induction wheels, the center caps, they're just plastic and you can get away with just about any tool you can fit in there. I highly recommend getting a pick tool just like this one, this type of shape. And the reason is all the other tools, once you stick them in there and push forward, you can actually start to see where it gets marred up a little bit. Um, you're never gonna notice it from a distance, but why bother with it? So with a, with a angled pick tool like this, you can stick it in the slot and then just pull out instead of doing this whole twisting motion. That's gonna be putting some marks on those covers. They're not expensive to replace, but I would just get one of these. All right, so then there's also one more thing that they sent over. So while we've got the wheels off, I'm also going to go ahead and install another new product from Evanex, and that's mud flaps. These will officially be one, two, three. These will either be the third or fourth mud flap sets that I've put on a Tesla that we've owned. So we got these really big rally looking ones that are probably the maximum protection. And then we've got the Tesla ones on our white Model Y right now. It does scrape on the driveway every time you come in and out and that'll just vary depending on your driving situation. Um, but it's only for the front, so it's a little weird like that. This is a set of four and they actually have some style to them. So more traditional styling for mud flaps, a little bit sleek, but still gonna provide some protection. It will not provide you know, the ultimate protection of the very first set that we had that were huge, but um, this will provide protection. Um, they're nicely labeled too, uh, so you can figure out where exactly they go. And it's a really easy install from what it looks like. It kind of seems like, you know, this kind of grabs onto the body molding inside the wheel well, put a couple body clips. So this is for the front, I believe. Yeah, so this one's for the front, front right. So this one goes right here. And for the rear, same concept. Clip on right here, couple of push clips here, and then I believe this is a bolt, but we'll get to that once we get to the back of the car. So anyways, as far as the mud flaps go, so far the Tesla ones are fine. Um, they do scrape a lot, and so it's starting to get beat up a little bit, but they're actually not too visible, which is nice, and it could be because we have black wheels, but um, they don't stand out too much, which I like. These, however, will give me all four corners, which I don't know if the rear is absolutely necessary, but. I am excited to get a more consistent look and a better style. So something with even just a little bit of style would be nice. So we're gonna try those on while we're doing these caliper covers. So with all that said, let's get going.
Well, there you have it. That's the full install, and this could not have been easier, and that's the whole point. So these are $199 on Evanex website. Again, code BTG, and you'll save 10 bucks on this set, but it could not have been easier. Taking the wheels off, doing the paint, all that stuff, it takes so much time to do. This was literally, once I had all the equipment together, it was about 10 minutes per wheel. So it was really quick and you won't have to do the filming. So I would say plan about an hour to do this. Now, I highly recommend also going ahead and getting the mud flaps as well because once you have the wheels off, it's too easy to install those. It's just another minute to add those as well. So I am beyond satisfied. As you can see right here on the screen, these things look amazing now you can add some vinyl tesla letters for these as well you'll have to get those somewhere else though i believe tesla has been cracking down on ip so it's going to be a little bit hard to get the logo on there but you can get them you just have to look around so like i said one of the things that i was really excited about with these mud flaps number one having all four corners protected but also the tesla ones do rub on our driveway every time <laughs> So these ones definitely clear a lot better. I am so excited to have this. $199, too easy, too simple to do. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.